Today I'm going to show you how to use the force to control the Arduino. Just kidding, it's just a proximity sensor in your phone. So we start off with the components. Here we have the smartphone with the one shield amp on it. We have an Arduino Uno board with one shield on top of it, a relay board, a breadboard, this uh, awesome fan, and a USB female cable to be connected to the power of the Arduino via the relay. All right, and we're here we're using a relay because we want to use high current because it's not gonna it's not gonna work um, with the low current of the Arduino because Arduino Uno. If you get um, um, a high on a certain pin, it gets you like 40 milliamperes, all right? This fan requires about 500 milliamperes, that's why we're using uh, the power of the Arduino directly and we're using the relay to transfer the power, okay? So, if we go to the code, we'll see here that it's really simple, just one line of code as usual. So, we first include a uh, one shield library and we declare the fan to be on pin number 11, that's where the pin is connected to the relay. And in the setup, we initialize the one shield library and we set uh, the pin number 11 into Apple. All right. In the loop here, we get the data of the proximity sensor. So if the value is above zero, you turn on the fan. And here, the switch is active loop. All right. And uh, if not, just turn it off, which in this case is high. Okay. So if we look at the app, so here we selected the proximity sensor and as you see here the distance is about 5 centimeters. Now the proximity sensor is just similar to the light sensor but the light sensor gives you uh, a variety of data but the proximity sensor is only 1 or 0. So if I cover it, it gives me 0 and if I remove it, that's 5. Alright, on and off. That's it. So that was pretty much it. Now imagine what else can you do with all the sensors in your phone. We're talking not just proximity. You have the GPS sensor, the gyroscopes, the accelerometer, and much, much more. So subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask on our forum, and we'd love to see the projects you built. Thank you for watching.